Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1723 shilling from the reign of King George I, the coin we can see on screen now. I'll first go through the design, starting with the reverse, and then move on to the facts and figures. So here is the reverse, and we can see there are four crowned shields. The left shield is the Royal Hanoverian Shield, the bottom shield is the Harp of Ireland for Ireland, to the right are the three French ladies, the Fleur de Lys for France, and then to the top is a split shield with the three lines of England for England to the left, and the rampart line of Scotland for Scotland to the right. And as I say, they are all crowned with lovely detailed and on eight crowns, and are all about a central garter star in the middle, which the shields are angled around. We then have in between the shields two sets of letters, the SSC, repeated twice there, on the left and right, and SSC stands for the South Sea Company. Now we can see the date to the top there, 1723, and then the legend around, which reads in English, Duke of Brunswick and Lundberg, Arch Treasurer and Elector of the Holy Roman Empire. So there is the reverse design, and we now move on to the obverse, and we can see here a right-facing bust of King George I. He faces to the right, as I say, with no crown, but a laureate in his hair, and he has quite long hair there, with a curly style to it. And below that is the draped clothing, so it is a bust that comes down past his neck or his shoulders, showing off the draped clothing he's wearing. This is a cool portrait, and was done by John Crocker. The legend on this side reads in Latin, Georgivus, DG, M, B, R, F, et, Hib, Rex, F, D, George, by the grace of God, King of Great Britain, France and Ireland, and Defender of the Faith. This is an early milled coin, and you can see the teeth milling or beading around the edge there, preventing this coin from being clipped, unlike earlier hammered examples of shillings. So we'll now move on to the facts and figures of the 1723 shilling, so let's begin. The coin was made at the Tower Mint in London, so based in the Tower of London, the home and headquarters of the Royal Mint between 1279 to 1810. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, so this is 92.5% pure silver, or known better as sterling silver, as within all silver coins before 1920. The weight of the coin was 6.02 grams, so a bit heavier the shillings were back in the day, before they were standardised in 1817, and a bit larger in diameter, with a 26mm diameter for the shilling, and they were then downsized to 23mm in the Great Recoinage. Now the mintage of this coin is unknown, however this year, 1723, is a medium rarity for the type, so there are rarer dates and more common dates for this era of shilling. The shilling coin being a 12 pence piece, or of course one shilling, that would be then 1 20th of a pound sterling, so 20 of these shilling coins to every pre-decimal pound. And then back in 1723, when the coin was made, one shilling then was equal to £14.96 today. So a decent bit of money, around £15 today's money, or a shilling back in the early 1700s. And the coin was then demonetized in 1817, like I say, during the Great Recoinage, and they were downsized and standardized. So then, we'll now move on to the value of the coin today for a collector looking to buy one. So in a poor grade, it will sell for around £25, in fine condition around £60, £250 and extremely fine, and then uncirculated grade, £525. So a quite pricey coin there, in high grades, and even in the low grade, still a bit of a price tag to it, just because of the age and the beauty of the design, as you can see there, even in a poor grade, an absolutely lovely coin, so please do comment down below if you have one in your collection, as we'd love to know. And as well, of course, please do subscribe if you enjoyed and learned something new from this video, and of course, thank you for watching to the end, that is much appreciated, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs.